Well, I will tell them yes. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, oh, no, no. Oh, they doing all this evil stuff. They doing all this wicked stuff. Or is or more likely is United States a one nation under God? And I'm going to say yes. It's like, whoa, no. Y'all like, no, we do all this evil stuff, wicked stuff. Now, if you read your Bible correctly in the Old Testament, that, let me see here, the children of Israel was doing evil and wicked stuff and were worshiping other gods too. You know what I'm saying? Worshiping the main god, Baal. So the thing is, you, you can't tell, you you can't show, you can't let the performance tell you uh, about, you know, if God is over our, you know, country. You know what I mean? The ble the way our country's blessed, where you should know that God is over our country by the blessings that we obtain in this country, and we're grateful for a lot of privileges concerning our country but uh and he's over our country now the behavior that we do concerning start from leadership and how and then the businesses and corporations and how they conduct themselves if they're conducting themselves according to the law of god you know what i'm saying and and if we built 10 commandments you know uh plaques and our you know God consider us his people. I mean, well, he's, he's, it, it, this is his country. You know what I'm saying? But if you want to, you know, be, follow the pattern of the children of Israel and worship other gods and goddesses and, you know what I'm saying, do things, break God's law, God is going to deal with you. But that's another message. But, but today, I mean, well, uh, when uh, Rosh Hashanah comes, uh, it's supposed to be the 10 days of repentance. What a holiday. 10 days of repentance. You know, ten, you know that holiday is not going to be celebrated in the United States of America. In the, you know, wicked United States of America, I don't think uh, certain people will celebrate that idea of repentance, you know. But the 10 days of repentance will end tomorrow. It will end tomorrow, and tomorrow, when the ten days of repentance happen, then the most holiest day of the year will precede itself, and that is Yom Kippur or Yom Kippur, the holiest day of the year. That is very important to understand to precede God's divine plan, because when God does a plan, He's going to do. His plan in particular days that is significant to him. Not significant to you. It's not about you. And it's not about America. Or it's not about any other place or any other body. But it's about him. See, because I think that the ideal of his earth that he created, will he will design his plans based upon him, not us. Him, you know. That I, I well, we all caught up in y'all own possessions that y'all have in his earth. You know what I'm saying? Y'all caught up in your job and your your school and your this and your that. Well, he gonna do what he do on his day. See what I'm saying? On his time. So that's what y'all need to understand about God's divine plan. You know what I'm saying? But uh to I think tomorrow is the last day of the day of repentance. I'm wondering if people are going to be repenting, you know, tomorrow or today. <laughs> We're gonna leave that alone another message. But I hope that in sincereness unto God you do it. But if it's not sincere, and so repentance is an action too. It's not just a verbal commitment, it's an action. But uh it's gonna happen. Tomorrow is going to, evening is going to be Yom Kippur. And who knows what God is going to do then. And it's going to be quite interesting. But that's not the topic of a message. But I think my topic of the message that I went off the topic, you know, on my other video. I mean, it was that D1 performance. That D1 performance really, you know, uh, captured me at the favor fest, you know. Uh, that made me appreciate it, but I didn't even, you know, really got in 
to the message I'm supposed to got in. But the topic of the message that I'm going to talk about is called the reality. Oh, let me the the reality of the fear of the Lord, understanding the word regardless. Notice the R trend, but you know repentance regardless. Okay, hey. All right, uh, but we're going to talk about regardless. This this is the word that we must understand if we fear the Lord. It's called regardless. I call it regardless, just to remind myself what this is all about concerning of if I'm going to perform something, whether it's negative or positive, the end results are going to happen regardless of what I think or what I do, whether it's right or wrong, whether it's uh, of I perform the things of the light or more likely my the, this to me, one of the most important fear of the Lord scriptures that we must understand is Galatians six and nine, I believe. And 10 or 8, 9 about, you know, what, you know, um, what you sow, you're going to reap. You know what I'm saying? What you sow, what a person soweth, they shall also reap. Now watch this. Regardless. <laughs> Regardless is the ideal of understanding whether you like it or not. Or more likely, this is not of your control you have no control what comes out like for instance i said something to somebody about i was trying to tell people about the ideal of season that you know um one of the most uh to me uh scriptures that people do not fear is uh galatians 6 and 9 and you know about what a, be not deceived god is not mocked God is not mock. What a person soweth, they shall also reap. Now, I tell somebody, I say, can you, when it's, you know, I ask the person, can you tape or something, can you tape the trees up on, on an orange tree to try to stop this fruit from going? Do you have any, you know, technique or whatsoever to stop a fruit from growing from out of a tree. And I'm not just cut, just cutting the whole tree down. But the thing is, but I'm talking about can you stop fruit from growing on a tree? If the tree is, if, you know, be remain a tree. You know what I'm saying? Can you stop the fruit from growing on it? No, you can't. On season, you cannot stop fruit from growing. We cannot, we don't have the ability, we don't have no say so of what comes out of that tree. And the thing is, what I'm trying to say, tell you, is you know, um, uh, what th this is very important that you must understand concerning the reality of cataclysmic proportions. Because God told me that said, Mac, um. He told me, like everybody said, that God flood the earth. But if you understand from a divine spectrum, God did not flood the earth. Men flood the earth. Men, well, how did men flood the earth? Simple. They disobey God's instructions. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But in turn, in terms of that you know we they people will take it like oh god flooded the earth and destroyed all those people no god did not flood the earth and destroyed all those people uh the the wickedness that was going on at that, that day that they watched this sold they sold a lot of wickedness in that day what happened was the seed fell in the ground the seed grew up to a tree and it just bear forth fruit of their own demise. And the thing is, that's what ha really happened. But I know the scripture says that God flooded the earth, but God already had a standard procedure. If men, that God is, I learned that the fear of the Lord will show you that God is a man with a plan. 
God already planned all kind of stuff uh, automatically. If this happened, this would happen. If that happened, that would this happen. More likely cause and effect, pretty much. Um, it's the idea you must understand about God because when God started doing his, you know, bad thing, I bet, you know, when you children of Israel, they got that, you know, King Nebuchadnezzar came through there, destroyed the temple, got them people in captivity. They, that's that if you do this, that the promise that God told them in Deuteronomy and all throughout, you know, in Leviticus, if you do this, this bad thing will happen. You know what I'm saying? What you sow, you shall reap. And it's going to happen regardless. You know what I'm saying? That I tell people about the ideal. Oh, yeah, speaking of, of, of the ideal of the temple, and I was like, oh, yeah, speaking of the temple, today is the day that the, uh, on the Jewish calendar, that the temple, the first temple was finished. Yeah, the, today is the day that the first temple was finished and was being dedicated, you know, to for a ceremony. But today is that day. The Jewish people have that in the calendars. Um, yeah, and, and if you want to understand about the temple, you know what I'm saying? That the temple saga that the Jewish people went through, two temples, to understand that if you do this unto him, he will do this. And guess what? Like the ninth of Av, he will do it on the very day. On the very ninth of all, the first temple and the second temple was burnt. The, now, reason why God will do that, God's showing that because you showing you that because you disobeyed my word, this is why this happened. It's not because I hate you, it's not because I don't like you, it's because of what you have disobeyed his commandments and his statutes that he has given you. Because everybody got this thing that God hates people. No, you, you technically hate yourself in disobeying his scriptures. Technically, I mean, especially when you, it's all about the flesh. You know what I'm saying? The flesh is all about getting into foolishness and a bunch of nonsense. Y'all know that. But the thing is, you know, Galatians 6 and 9 really shows the ideal of in due season, something's going to happen regardless. And it's interesting that I did not, you know, remind y'all about this is fall season. And God loves to, has a whole lot of things he does on fall season. As you know that the creation was established at fall season. And of course, the holiest day is at fall season. You know what I'm saying? Um, the the thing is, fall season is, I believe, truly things are going to fall. You know what I'm saying? It's going to fall very soon because the thing is, God is a man of order. And in order you perform this, you know what I'm saying? If you don't, if you don't perform this, this going to happen. You know, and I believe that some reaping is going to happen to especially America you know, concerning their covenant that they have towards, you know, God. That they will sow some seeds very soon. Maybe on Yom Kippur, maybe tomorrow, but soon because this is God's pattern. And it's a pattern of the, based upon their disobedience. You know what I'm saying? Not that God hate America. No, you disobey the covenant of America, of his covenant. You know what I'm saying? Is what uh, American people need to understand if something happens. So that's the message. I hope you, it's got a wean season, so you don't know what to prepare for, you know what I'm saying, concerning God and his holy day that's in, ironically, in, you know, got a wean that, you know, the young Kapoor is uh, tonight, I mean, tomorrow night. Who knows what God got in store for his, the people that are in covenant with him. That's the message. But it's whatever's going to happen is going to happen regardless.
That's the message. God be the glory. Him forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen.